Mami chop your meat pie. Hey. I'm going to call us here. You call us here. You know, you're going to call us here. 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 You're going Good day everyone and welcome back to the YouTube channel and in this video we are discussing Gora episode 16 to 20. So let us just get into it straight. So for this episode from the um, side of the Kuti, the, at this point Mide is into this bakery career is making or is into now with this is new friend Rambo and at the Adelike's mansion not so, so much is happening it's just Bosse and Tony's story. And if you did see my last video, I'm so sure you know how much I'm so bored of this Bosse and Tony story. It bores me so much. Like, I'm just bored. I'm like, Ura should be back. And glory be to the Almighty. The Almighty who answers prayer. <laughs> who answers prayer for the fact that Ura is back. So, I uh, screw it. And at least. I'll be done with this someone trying to be a snake and just seducing Tony all around like shamelessly. Disgusting. So let me just go straight to the conversation proper. And I'm starting with Midi and Rambo. If you did see my last my last video, like the last video I made on Mura, you should know how much I complain or my view or my take about this Rambo because I'm very skeptical about him because I feel like this guy is back and it might just be someone who will be bringing or who will be bringing troubles to the Kutis or who will, be, who will put Mide in trouble just the way Percy did. You know, from last season when Percy came back, Percy was like innocent, you know, but Percy lured Mide into crimes once more. However, Percy was a very honorable person because he took the fall for Mide, knowing fully well that Mide family really needs him. But that would be a conversation for another day because I feel like as much as Percy took the fault for Miss Midi from last season, Midi is still useless to the Kutis, if you should think of it. Like, he's not really adding up to that family. He's just there, why didn't he, like, living his life and not really adding up. So, I so much love the fact that they are putting so much energy into this big crystal. So, so far, per, um, this new guy, Rambo, now has really been proving that, okay, I'm not into crimes. I'm a better person. I'm reformed and all of that. But while I was watching, like, I think, like, second episode, that is, like, episode 17, I felt like, hmm, I hope he's going to go in this thing, this bad baking. I, I just know, I just feel like there's something suspicious. I was not trusting them. Just the way Yamide, just the way Yamide was so skeptical about them, about... The guy and all of that, that was how I felt throughout. I just felt like, okay, probably after they take it, you all of it, where we do like everyone who had tasted from that snack Rambo made, we just start to walk with their head. <laughs> because I don't know, like, that's how I feel like. So let me talk about Ewa. 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 Ewa is like the most dramatic cast on this series. And you know one funny thing is that Ewa is a joke. It's crazy how she's so opinionated, how she's like, I want to help you brand. You know, she initially met Fola and was like, oh, Fola, you can stand for it. <laughs> oh my God, Ewa is a joke. You know, she went to Fola and was like, oh, Fola, you can stand, we can start this mission where we advocate for people who are taken to prison without them doing anything and all of that. Then, She's not an activist and she wants to package Fola. Then Fola is no longer on the spotlight. Then she's moved to Mide and Rambo's bakery. Then she's the one who wants to get them to the global market. Ewa don't mind her business. Ewa have a business. Why can't you just use this skill you have in marketing, branding and all of this? And brand yourself. And let people know that yes, you're a good eraser. If not, I feel like it's only to me she makes effort in the whole of it, but you do <laughs> it's crazy. Ewa is just a very nosy person and it's crazy. Then back to the identity case. This mark that is now dead, I hope it's not the mark we know of. And 
I feel like there's more to this boss said. Like this, but there's more to her because I don't know if probably she's just the acting. Because I'm so confused about the lady. I'm confused about the so-called fiance she's called. How I'm confused about the so-called fiance she's got and how he's now dead. You get. And I don't know if I don't want to believe it's the same Mac that coin killed, but that will be a conversation for another day. In Bosse on this series is something like I'm bored of and I'm so bored of it. Like I'm tired of their scene. And it's just so nice that the Idon herself is back to the series and probably we get to see something better. Like they there'll be better story development to the series from the path of the Adelegis. Then right for the Kutis, I think we are getting something interesting. Then when I saw the up next Scramble and the other guy, which is Midi, they've gone to the um, prison to deliver their stuff. Well, it seems as if they've gotten themselves in trouble. And I'm looking forward to see what trouble these people had got themselves into one more time. Yeah. So this is all I'll be discussing for episode 16 to 20 of Fora season 2. Bye for now.